Hi YouTube, today I'll be presenting a device that's quite a departure from the HP 95 and 100 LX palm tops that I present in previous videos. And since I'm coming back from Europe, having a great time in Spain, I thought it would be good to show a heavily European influenced piece of portable computer technology. This device is the Nokia 9290 Communicator. It's their third generation smartphone that came after the 9000 and 9110 communicator, which both ran DOS and had a 386 and 486 respectively. This device is very different though. It has a 66 megahertz ARM processor and it runs Symbian OS version 6, EPO, EPOC 6. So you can think of it as being influenced by the Scion palm tops and indeed the Scion Series 5 ran the EPOC operating system. So it's a very different uh, type of smartphone. It's an early smartphone. Probably the first was actually a DOS machine, the HP 700, uh, HP Omnigo 700 LX. And it's an early smartphone, not quite the first like that one. It was released in 2000 or 2001 in Europe and this is the, the American version. The European version was 9210, this is the 9290, and this was released in the US market. And I was kindly given this by a stranger, a person I, I, I don't remember his name, but he's a very good person who, who gave me this device at my Purple Computing Exhibit at Vintage Computing Festival Southeast in Roswell earlier this year. So whoever he was, thank you for giving me this and hopefully you're going to see this YouTube video. In a moment I'll open up the box and show you some of its features. Okay, so now I've taken the 9290 out of its box and I'll show you some of its features. If you just look at it from the back, it looks like a standard Nokia cell phone. You might have remembered the Nokia 5110 and similar devices from the time. I know my family had either 5110 or, or a similar uh, Nokia cell phone as our first standard cell phone. And uh, given that, so you have your nice little uh, numerical keypad on the back and ability to hang up and call someone. Now looks can be deceptive. From the back you'd assume this is just some big, big uh, cell phone, but when you open it up why look, it's a tiny little portable computer. It looks like a notebook computer. I'm pretty sure the display is uh, 640 by 200. You can see it has a nice, nice uh, keyboard right down there, a nice QWERTY keyboard with the built-in apps along the top. The desktop, telephone, messaging, oops, um, internet via data connection, contacts, calendar, and then office applications. So with that, I'll go ahead and go through some of the built-in applications. Okay, so in a moment I'll go through some of the built-in applications on this 9290. But before that, I want to mention the storage media for this device. It does have built-in RAM, 14 megabytes for applications and 2 megabytes for the user, but also has non-volatile sto removable storage in the form of multimedia cards. If you don't know what these are, these were the prede predecessor of SD cards in their form factor. It originally had 16 megabytes of removable flash memory as an MMC card, but this one has a third-party Memorex 64 megabyte MMC card. Plenty of storage, get all your documents in there and contacts. The first application I'm looking at here is the desktop. You can see there's some notes here. Someone's testing something. I'm just testing out this Nokia 9290 communicator from 2001. And that was probably written by the generous stranger who gave me this device. I'll escape there. Let's see, yeah, make sure you can see that. Yeah, yeah, so just testing out the communicator. That's the desktop application. The next one is telephone. There's a directory here, and I guess you can enter this and then try and call the person. 
Oh wow, phone's turned off or not ready. Oh well, so sad. So you should probably move to the next application so you don't steal any of this private information. There's messaging here, inbox, outbox, draft. And it looks like there's both emails and text messages included in this messaging app. The next built-in app is internet. So there's two things shown here, uh, WAP, wireless, app. I believe is wireless application protocol. Just take a look in the Wikipedia page and make sure I'm correct. Yes, I am. Wireless application protocol and this was standard for, for mobile phone browsing in the 90s and um, 2000s. Now I can go from WAP to WWW and see the home page built into this. And there you go, there's your little tiny web browser in your 9290 communicator. And select the link by pressing the tab key. Tab. Okay, tips for browsing the web. Nothing like browsing without a touch screen and with a little keyboard. So you can see I can scroll through and it's telling me how I can browse through web pages and then navigate on those pages themselves with this little teeny tiny Symbian browser. Okay, with that there's Contacts is the next built-in app. I should also move on quickly so you don't steal all this private information. And then there's a calendar app. I can probably you know, pick a date and then enter in what's happening on this date. S uh, stuff. Yeah, there we go. 9 a.m. More than a year ago, stuff happened. Wow. Okay, so I'll go from calendar and then there's office. And the office suite here includes documents like Word, sheets like Excel, a presentation viewer, non-editor, so kind of like PowerPoint, and then a file manager down here. Let's see if there's any files stored here. System, yeah, let's look at the documents. There's a photo gallery, oh. Okay, there's our Nokia picture. It's not a very high resolution display. It's 640 by 200, which is a lot like CGA and PCs, but 4,000 colors apparently. So you can still get some nice pictures showing up on your smartphone. Let's close this real quick and then see what the Word documents look like. This, oh, not thus. This is a test doc, not doc, document on the, let's change the font. Oh, that's okay. Uh, style, let's font, okay, control B, done. Oh wow, got bold. Control B again, done. I could probably do that more quickly, but there we go. Got a nice sample uh, document. Let's close it and then save that as test. Okay, I'll take a look real quick at the Excel equivalent. Oh, that's, that's pretty nice. Yeah, it looks just like Excel. Just exit out of that. And with that, so those are the built-in applications. I also see a button called Extras. I assume you could put in whatever um, Symbian apps. It doesn't look to be quite as, as easy to add in your own programs as you would expect in MS-DOS or a Linux machine or an Android smartphone even. Looks like someone here put Doom on that. Maybe that should be the topic of another video. Something called GeForce and iScorch. I assume those are games. There's a fax modem, which I'm sure was still used at the time. 
imaging internet startup video player get your tiny little videos that fit in your 64 meg mmc card and enjoy them on the machine i believe that's everything please let me know in the comments if you have have more ideas of how to use this device or experiences with it back in the early 2000s 20 years ago when this was released and that said in my future videos I will be showing an Amstrad NC100. I just bought one from the UK and can't wait to play with CPM on that. And I'll probably have a review of the HP100 LX and finally get to my video of the RAV Power File Hub Plus now that I've mastered screen capture software in Windows 10 and Linux. And with that, I appreciate your attention. Please subscribe and comment down below. And thank you for watching.